Hi, Floss Tube. Hello, Floss Tube. I'm Pam. And I'm Stephanie. And this is Just, Just Keep Stitching, episode 198. <clears throat> 4 plus 4 plus 45 plus 40 plus 2 plus 3 plus 50 plus 25 plus 20 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1 is 198 because math. Welcome back, everybody. Hello, friends. Hope you've had a good week. Hi. We're glad that you have stopped by. Yes. A uh, special hello to anybody who has uh, found us for the first time. Yes. Um, we appreciate Welcome. all the people who have been following us along from the beginning. Welcome. Uh, anybody who is going back and watching some of the older, older ones, older episodes. Mm -hmm. um, They're good ones, man. There's some uh, gems in may there. May the force be with you. Yes. Uh, there are some gems in there. There are. For sure. Yes. Um, we are fast approaching 200 episodes. Those are the numbered episodes. Yeah. BTW, because we have had some um, Instagram, Special editions. Instagram lives that we uploaded to our channel that Steph did back at the beginning of quarantine. Yeah, my Stay Home with Steph series. The Stay Home with Steph series. Um, there are gems in there. And then we have had some other unnumbered episodes. We haven't done an unnumbered episode in a minute, in a long time. Yeah. But there were some, um, and uh, we're approaching May, which means Floss Tube anniversary. <laughs> yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's hard to believe. So um, it's, it's what year? Uh, it's it's our, what year? It'll be our fifth, fourth, fourth. Well, what year did we start? Twenty seventeen. 2017. And this is 2021. So it'll be our four year anniversary. Four years. Four years. Yep. Wouldn't get, wouldn't trade him for the world. Man. No, no. It was very soon after we started that we realized that we had to do it on a weekly basis. Yeah. Cause we talk a lot for the, for the primary reason of yes, we talk a lot. And secondly, um, we're two stitchers mm -hmm. who stitch a lot mm -hmm. and show a lot and buy, buy a, a lot. lot. And <laughs> if we, or if, that, can you imagine if we had them bi-weekly? If we had It'd them... It'd be seven hours long. Yeah, if we had them <laughs> every two weeks... We would have to start it at 7 We'd have to find additional seating in this home because there would be too much cross-stitch in two too weeks, much. period. Too much. Um, Y'all would hate it. Yeah. It, 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 it had to be weekly. So now you get us every week. So, You're welcome. You know, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> anyway, right. um, nothing too exciting going on here. Nope, not this week. Um, uh, we are looking ahead toward doing some minimal landscaping out front. Minimal. Uh, because, you know, we don't... We do not go outside. Basically, we don't do dirt. We don't go outside. That's just no. not our thing. Not More power to you if you love it. Go for it. Right. Not our... You can have the dirt. Not our jam. Right. Um, and, but... Um, our friend Katie and... Her, Andy! And her <laughs> husband, Andy... Hello, Andy! ...did come over and... Um, and did a little heavy lifting and digging yes. for us uh, the other night. We've been after in work. What, this home for twenty plus years. Yeah, there was there was a bench, mm -hmm. just your like, plain a, like old, a decorative bench, some kind of decorative bench that was to the left of our front steps, mm -hmm. and um, it's in the flower bed or mm. in the it was <laughs> flower bed. <laughs> Um, it was in the mulch. It was in the mulch, and uh, Andy came over and. He and Katie uh, worked on getting well. that thing unearthed. Oh my God! It was so down deep. It was in the literally dark. like six feet. In I was the starting ground. to think that they had anchored it in concrete, but yeah, it will go out to the curb for the trash tonight. It mm -hmm. is all out and loaded yep. on our little wagon. Yep. And uh, we thank them uh, for that. Thank and, you, Andy. You're amazing. And then we did some other planning with uh, those folks as to what else. Um, would look uh good for our um front because um like i said we're, we're total minimalists in that department mm -hmm. yes i just don't care right <laughs> i just don't care no okay um so uh we hope so. you've had a good week we did yes. get some stitching done but yes. before we get to that let's talk about our hashtag let's talk about our hashtag our hashtag is Stitch Harmony. Stitch Harmony is um, our attempt at connecting stitchers together um, who live in the same area, same city, state, 
town, whatever. Right. Um, and um, so every week, we've been doing this now since episode 134. So we've been doing it for 66 videos, rough 65 videos, roughly. Yeah. Um, and so every week, we pick someone who has commented on the previous week's video using the hashtag Satarmony. And um, we share them with you a little bit. Um, and then we'll explain how it works after we read you this week's featured Stitch Harmony commenter. Yes. So who is it this week? Pam? This week, our Stitch Harmony commenter is a lovely gal named Lynn Sykes. Hi, Lynn. Hello, Lynn. And this is what she wrote. Hashtag Stitch Harmony. Yes. It's wonderful that y'all try to get stitchy friends for your viewers. Yes. I took a break from stitching for several years. We hear that so much. We do. Like so many others, I started back during the lockdown. I found Floss Tube and love watching everyone. I haven't found anyone in my town who enjoys it like I do. Mwah. I tried to get my daughter interested, but no luck. I live in beautiful East Tennessee in the city of Knoxville. Yeah. Hopefully you will pick me and I will get to meet a couple of like-minded people. Thank you for all you do to promote cross stitch. So, so how this works is yes. So if your ears perked up because you live in around nearby within driving distance of Knoxville, Tennessee, and you are also looking for a stitching friend or you have an existing stitching group that has that has room for um, Miss Lynn in the group, then please uh, comment below and say, Hi Lynn, my name is, insert name here, I live in around nearby within the driving distance of Knoxville, Tennessee, Tennessee, and I would love to stitch with you. Um, and then it is up to you, Miss Lynn, to please read through the comments and see if anyone has reached out to you, and then you all can start a conversation and go from there. Um, I... Knoxville is in East Tennessee, so um, I assume Knoxville is a pretty well-known city, I feel. So we're not going to Google map it today, but yeah. Um, but yeah, so um, if I'm hopeful is, about this one. Yeah, as am I. Yes. Uh, because um, we've been down uh, to East Tennessee. That's where we go for our whistle stop retreat mm -hmm. every year. In fact, uh, Jennifer, the whistle stop stitcher, um, who owns the... Uh, farmhouse that we retreat to yes um i believe she's in greater Knox, knoxville so yes. um we think that there are um there are people out there quite a you. few stitchers down there so um here's your here's your heads up yes okay so good luck to that okay okay i really like when it when yeah it. yeah yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> that means it's time for pam's pin comment and as we say every week Pam's pin comment is the one that tickles your fancy. Tickled my fancy. And this week's pin comment, which has been pinned to the top of all the comments after last week's video, was written by Sherry Olson. Hi, Sherry. Hello, Sherry. And she, I don't know why I have to sing that every time. I did it for Lynn. I did it for... Well, you're fine singing. I know. Okay. Thank you. Well, Sherry <laughs> uh, wrote, Pam and Steph. I am in a plane flying at 38,000 feet watching Just Keep Stitching. Can we just make it into the Mile High Club? Ooh, let's not go there. Okay. I am so close to the moon that I had to laugh when you mentioned it. Uh, not sure if you've had a viewer this high up, but I will say you brought a lot of laughter on this flight. Oh, I love that. I must say you made my trip go by a whole lot faster. That's Thanks cool. for getting my week off to a great start. Well, Sherry, that's fantastic. That's lovely. We always love to hear what people are doing. While um, watching, just keep stitching. In, in the PG realm. Yes. <laughs> while we're on the TV. <laughs> You're the one who mentioned my high club, so, you know. I'm just saying. We're assuming you stayed in your seat, Sherry. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully. But it's always fun to hear about people who listen to us while they're in the shower or in the tub or in a plane, in a right. car. Doing whatever. Uh, whatever. Gardening. So. <laughs> Gardening, yeah. Yes. That's not going to happen. Nope. Anyway, let's talk about stitching, shall we? We shall. What have you been stitching this week, Steph? Well, Pam, let's just see. Okay. So, I had a miniature finish on my um, third installment of Santa's Village by Country Cottage Needleworks. This is a digital rendering of what it will look like when it is all said and done. And I have this block done, this block done, and now I have this block done. 
and I am stitching mine. I'm attempting to do it one block a month. I'm a little bit behind. It is what it is. Um, and I am stitching it on 40 count vintage country mocha linen by Zweigart using one strand of floss over two linen threads. So, yeah. So, Why were you questioning? At first, I was like, did I show this last week? But I did, but it wasn't all done last week. You were close. You said you were going to finish it that night. Yeah. There you go. Okay, so that is the mm -hmm. whole of it. And so I got all the little red bits up in the top. That was like literally all I had left was oh, just the red right. bits. Yep, yep. And maybe a snowflake or two. But mm -hmm. So the North Pole Post Office is the third installment. And that is what is over there that I worked on that I finished. Um, and then I got real nervous about my fabric. I thought that I wasn't going to have enough for a second. So I said, you know what? I'm just going to start the fourth one and just pray. So I did. And so I have plenty of and you were fine. I have plenty of space. Yeah. So I did start the fourth installment, and the fourth installment is Mrs. Quaz's cookie shop. This one's gonna be a cute one. Yeah, super cute. Let me pull the chart up so you can see it. Mm -hmm. So that yeah. is Mrs. Claus's cookie shop. Yeah. I'm really hoping that the button fits on this one because I really like the button. Um, Which one is the button? The cookie? The cookie in the middle of the house. Oh, in the over the door. That's mm -hmm. right. Yeah. yeah, the cookie mm -hmm. over the door. Yeah, um, I think that it will. Um, and even if it doesn't, I do know that they make these buttons in this particular button in smaller size. Maybe get a smaller one. Yes. Yeah. So, um, but so I was been working away on that and really, really, really enjoying it. And um, so I got as far. So what I what I've noticed is that. And it makes sense because these designers, they know what they're doing. They know, obviously, about placement and all of that kind of stuff. But I just think it's super interesting to me, the artistry that's involved in, like, oh, absolutely. in like the planning of something like mm -hmm. this. So, one thing that I noticed was that the front-facing houses are one, two, three, four, five, six, right? So, it looks like that. So, it's all even. And then you have... Green, green, red, red, green, red, green, red, 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 green, green. And it's just like, it's just super evenly balanced, which I'm just like, mm -hmm. and it's impressive to me how much they thought about that, mm -hmm. right? So, um, I don't know, it's just really, really nicely well done. Um, and so, um, the roof on this house and the roof on this house are the same, but this one is greens and this one is reds. And mm -hmm. so, um, so, which I really had a good time doing it when I did yeah. that roof. See, it's kind of scalloped. Mm -hmm. So, um, it'll be that way on this other one, mm -hmm. but just in reds and not greens. So, um, I am very much enjoying that one. Mm -hmm. And, but when Katie and Andy came over, Katie actually came over two nights in a row because she forgot to bring something over for me with the first night that her and Andy came over to take the bench out. And so she dropped it by the next day after work. And that is my next installment of, or the next round of Our Lasting Friendship by Blackbird Designs. Right. So if you're new here, um, let me show you the charts. Um, here, I have mine out. Oh, okay. So... Our Lasting Friendship um, by Blackbird Designs. This book is still in print. It is still available to get. This is the sampler called Our Lasting Friendship. Um, and the there's a group of nine of us um, here in Cincinnati that um, are doing it as a round robin. Um, and so there are nine different samplers. We all started them in October. And then over the course of the following nine months, um, we have been rotating them, rotating them once a month, basically. Right. Um, and so Melissa's in Columbus. We're yeah, all down right, here. Yeah. Melissa's in Columbus. Except for Melissa, yes. Mm -hmm. So, um, and so the way that we've been passing them has pretty much been the same. So like every time that it's time to pass it, I pass mine to Pam, right? Yeah. 
and I've been getting mine from Melissa every round. Well, Katie has a brother who lives in Columbus, and so when she goes up to Columbus, she gets Melissa's, Melissa's and right, whatever, whatever, whatever. Right. Um, and so I just got the one that Melissa had this past week. Right. Not Melissa's, but the one that Melissa had. Correct. Right. Because we're in the middle of all the rotations. Right. So the one that I have been stitching on, the owner of this is Lisa. Mm -hmm. um, and that is Lisa from Stitch in the Dream. Mm -hmm. And Lisa did a lot like what Crystal, also from Stitch in the Dream, mm -hmm. did, which is because um, we told, I mean, it's going to hang in your house, right? So do whatever you want to do from fabric to threads to whatever. The S counts, everything. Yes, all the things. So, oh, I want to go get this string of threads. So hold on and pause it. Okay, never mind because they're all kind of spread out. So I'm not going to pack them all up to show them to you. So I'll do that when I show it to you all finished. Sorry, not sorry. Okay. So Lisa went a little banana pants. Yes, she did. Which is fun and interesting. Yes. So, um, Lisa is a high count fabric stitcher, just mm -hmm. like myself, which I very much like. And so she is stitching hers. No, she's not stitching it. We're all stitching it, let's be clear. Yeah. <laughs> but the fabric that she chose is 40 count dark cobblestone from a Spike Art. Right. And she picked her own color palette. So, I will show you, so far, Crystal, Lisa, Katie, and Melissa have all stitched on it, and now me. Mm -hmm. So, um, and also, Lisa did not provide a direct color conversion. So, it's very much like Crystal's was when I showed that last time, which Pam will show you when she talks about her stitching, which is like, put the colors wherever you want. Yeah. So, I had to figure out a color key because I was like, I can't do that. But anyway, yeah. so this is what Lisa's looks like so far. Mm -hmm. Ew. There we go. So, hers is very purple. It actually looks brighter on camera than it does in person. Yeah. It's um, pretty dark. Yeah, the fabric is is charcoal color. Yeah. Um, I mean, not that dark, but right, yeah. Right. Um, and so it's kind of a mixture of gentle arts and classic color works and weeks. Mostly gentle arts, though. Um, and purple is Lisa's favorite color. So that is clearly shown here. Um, and then the section that I am doing is over here. So I did this vase and flowers, this bird, this dog, that bird. I'm working on this bowl of berries right now. There's another bird up here and then there's another little bird right here. So it basically just mirrors this situation over here. Yeah. Right. So, um, which I love. I think it's great. I love, um, some of the deep like purples that she has is like Bing Cherry from Classic Color Works and Cinders from General Arts, which is like one of my favorite colors of all time. Um, and then Lisa also said that if you wanted to add a new color in, go right ahead. So Katie actually added in the blue, which I think is a great addition. Mm -hmm. um, and then the other, only other specification that Lisa made was that when we stitch our initials down here, that we can pick whatever color we want to do the little emblem in and then the letters need to be in black coffee. So, oh. but other than that, we can do whatever. So, okay. um, I really love this color here. I think that's probably what I'm going to do my, hmm. my emblem in. But, okay. so, um, I've been really enjoying it. It's fun. At first it was a little bit of, a little, a little stressful because I was like, ah, I don't know what to do about these colors. Mm -hmm. Um, cause I, I'm a girl that needs a color key. So, um, but I think it's turning out really well. I really very much like it. So, mm -hmm. um, I will, the, the rest of it went really quickly. So, mm -hmm. I mean, what, when did Katie drop this off Thursday? Yeah. And it's Sunday and I'm, yeah, you're almost done. Yeah. So I just have the, the basket to finish and then, um, the two other little birds and I'm done. Right. So, Good. Yay.
So, well, what have you been working on, Pam? Well, why don't you show your lasting friendship tonight since yeah, I just did mine? Yeah, so, um, I uh, had crystals in my possession, and um, yeah, so I don't need to explain everything because Stephanie just did. Um, crystals is on 32, right? Nope, 28. 28? Is it 28? It is 28. Okay. Um, and I don't remember all of her specifications, but... She didn't really have any. She was also, like, open to options. And she had enclosed some threads, and, uh, Stephanie had just had this section. I did. So, Stephanie kind of followed precedent with what other people had used for different symbols, mm -hmm. And I kind of went along with it. And I made like a makeshift color key. Yeah, totally optional, but right. you know, I'm kinda like her. I'm, you know, just I can't cook without a recipe either. Yeah, right. So. <laughs> exactly that's exactly what it's like. It's just like that. So Right. So anyway, this is crystals. You can see how much brighter it is. And um I mean very pretty. Very pretty. This was really so a fun different. corner to do. Yeah. Um, between the berry bowl and the birds, birds, and um, the the bowl itself was fun because it has kind of a wicker look. And yes, I went back and finished that bud that I didn't do. Right. And both um, both Lisa and Crystal recharted the middle. Mm -hmm. And um, allowed for all nine of our initials, all nine of us to have our initials in the box. Mm -hmm. And so when Stephanie had it, she said, well, I want you to be next to me, Mom. So um, I went down and did the heart with the PS in it mm -hmm. underneath Steph, yep. SS. So um, I'm all caught up. Yeah. Um, we're kind of shooting for early next month for the next uh, go-around yep. on this. The next, the next pass. The next pass. It's just so fun because we're like... Yeah. We're now... And if I get that one next... Um, yeah. It, it will be an it. adjustment for me for 40 count, but I'm, I'm optimistic between magnification and I did buy one of those light boards. Mm, light boxes, yeah. Light boxes mm -hmm. so that I can direct the light from underneath the dark fabric. I bought it for a couple of reasons. For for that Star Wars in our house thing that I'm doing for my son and daughter-in-law. Yep. Same reason. Because of the dark galaxy fabric, mm -hmm. if you remember. Yep. So I'm, I'm, I'm not worried. No. You'll be fine. Um, <clears throat> and I think I talked last week about the fact that the end of the month or the two-thirds of the month was over and it was um, time for me to get back to I'll Be Home, yeah. which is from Twin Peak Primitives. Oh, I guess I didn't realize the house was like blue. Which house? November. Or is it's it gray? Not, it's gray. Oh, okay. okay. See? Oh, it's okay. Gray. Okay. Sorry. Different shades of gray. And... Um, there we go. But that's Pretty. November. Before I started November, I had to go back and finish October. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And oh, I like the little bird on the roof. It's so cute. this is October. Woo! So bright. And um, well, it's bright because of our lighting. It's not bright typically. But um, no, uh, I guess not. I did not use uh, What's 1692? The year? I don't I don't use 1692 on Halloween pieces uh, because in my history mind um, the Salem witch trials had nothing to do with Halloween, so I typically don't use the year on Halloween pieces if it's in the chart. Yeah. And then um, I thought, well, what do I put? Right. And so uh, we have a Facebook group. Um, I'll be home, Sal. Mm -hmm. And I just put a poll in the Facebook group. And I said, okay, here's a couple of options. In lieu of 1692, in I could do two things. I could put um, 2021 for this year. Mm -hmm. Or I could put our house number, which mm -hmm. is 5231. Yes. And it was overwhelmingly voted majority of people who answered the poll. And they said, put your house number. 
So there's the 1592 under the window. Um, and I love, I love it. it. I love it. Yeah. Somebody, uh, somebody where I posted this this past week said, I love that it's, it's fallish, but it's not spooky. And of course yeah. it has that House of Seven Gables feel to it. Yeah, but that's not But necessarily it's, spooky. you know, and like I said when I started it, it's not, it's not as dark when you stitch it in yeah, as for sure. you would think from the picture. For sure. Because the picture makes it look like a big black house, all right? True, yeah. And it's not. It's very, very, very pretty. Yes. So, um, I finished October, together. and um, today being the 25th, uh, meant that I start November. Yes. And so, here is my small start Look of at that. November. It is going to be... Um, pretty, pretty as well. Pine cones are up in the um, mm. up in the arbor for November, and uh, the no animals on the side of the name of the month. No, but there's a bird on. But the But there's roof. a bird on the roof on yeah. this one, and there are pumpkins along the picket fence. In Love front. it. So it's going to be pretty. Yep. And you I just started that today. You show the whole thing. Um, come on, show the whole thing. So let's show the whole thing. Okay. So, this is on 32 count dirty linen, and it's going to be massive, 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 massive. We're not even down to the bottom. So, I've been yeah. working on this uh, for um, a year, almost. A year. Started last June. Wow. And uh, wild. won't this be beautiful frame? Let it will. It sure will be. Holy moly. Look Holy out, moly. Look out, Paula. Here we go. Here we come. Somebody said, will you please bring it to StitchCon? Um, even though it's not, it probably won't be completed. I probably will have it on the, on the brag table at StitchCon. I'll just put it over here. Okay, fine. So that's what we've been stitching. Those were our whips of, of the week. There you go. Love that. Okay. Well, that means you... Reach the promotions part of the... <laughs> it was a little rocky, but that's okay. That's okay. We got the sound effect. It's that's hard to important. hit it and get it to pause immediately without oh, whatever. Oh, yeah. That's, that's... Whatever. It's okay. Now so let's talk gotta, about promotions. Let's talk about promotions, and let's start off with a bag. Let's do that. Because why not? Start off with a bang with a bag. Ooh. I almost dropped it on it. Got it. Okay. All right. So, of course, we are talking about the um, So Much to Love Project Bag of the Month Club. And this is the April Bag of the Month. Right. And so, in case you have never heard of it, uh, it is exactly what it sounds like. It is an exclusive Bag of the Month Club. Um, but it's not just a bag. You get um, a, a bunch of amazing little goodies mm -hmm. inside this bag. So. Yep. Along with a lovely note from Karen, who is the owner of So Much Love. Yep. And it describes all the things that are in there. So, um, we always get a package of tea, stash tea. And this month it is Moroccan Mint. Oh, boy. Love that. Also got a little bit of candy. Got some Jelly Bellies. Very pumped about that. Love Jelly Bellies. Um, and then we got a floss ring from Retromantic Fripperies. Um, Retromantic Fripperies is actually going out of business. I mean, retiring, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Right. Um, and so this, it will be, we've gotten a few, I want to say maybe three or four in the last three years that we've done um, mm -hmm. the Bag of the Month Club mm -hmm. with um, little notions from Fripperies. And so this will be the last one. So yeah. um, it's very special, very cute. And it says Hoppy Stitching. Super cute. There we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Super cute. Love yep. that. It made some nice things. And it's got a little lobster claw, so you can hook mm -hmm. it wherever you need. Yep. And then um, this month there was an exclusive chart. Doesn't happen every month, but when it does, it's a good one. And so this month it is from uh, Annie B's Folk Art. And this is called Hop To It. Are you sensing a theme here? Mm -hmm. Look at those bunnies. Look at them. Uh, they're so cute. I like this guy. 
mm -hmm. in this very large rabbit. Mm -hmm. um, and so this is an exclusive chart to the Bag of the Month Club. Um, I'm sure that like in a year or something when the contract is up, then it will be released to the public. But until then, it is just for us in the club. Very, very cute. Love that. And now are you ready to see the bag? Yeah. Are you ready for the bag? Um, okay, I just want to make sure I got everything correct. Yes, it looks like I did. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, y'all, this might be one of my favorite ones I've ever gotten. It's so dang cute. <laughs> Look at these bunnies, though. And it says, like, this way and... This way, that way, start here. Look at them with their little Easter baskets and look at this freaking carrot fabric. And then more bunnies on the back. So cute. And then the inside, look at the bunny heads. Look at the bunny heads. <laughs> I love it. Oh, it's so cute. Yes. So cute. I love this. And yes, we have a lot of project bags. True. However, I feel like I don't have a lot of spring Easter bags. Yeah, so like I know true. our, our right. Easter. Right. So this is so so cute. Mm -hmm. I love it so much. Um so sometimes she does have extras. Um and so I would um take a pixie at her Etsy to see if she has any extra sets available. Um you might get lucky that way. Um and if you have never purchased a So Much Love bag before, I cannot recommend her bags enough. Right. They are incredibly well, well, well made. Um, and, you know, we've tried a lot of project bag makers. We've gotten a lot of bags gifted to us. And um, I have to say that for the non-vinyl front bag, yeah, So Much Love is the gold standard. Correct. Gold standard. Yep. So thank Absolutely. you, Karen, for that. Yes. Okay, so now let's talk about Twin Peak Primitives. Yes, uh, we've been uh, partnering with Twin Peak Primitives um, almost from the start. Yes. And um, we love those two ladies so much. We do. And uh, they are cranking them out, folks. But we they want are. to, um, I think we're pretty close to the end of highlighting uh, for the pattern of the week the ones that they released at, at Expo. Yes. And so um, this one, even though it has Easter in the title, I think it could um, easily be transformed into, you know, a general spring design. Yes, absolutely. Or get a head start on Easter for next year. Right. Why you not? Know, Everybody why loves not? a good, a good cross stitch. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> so um, do you want to continue with talking about what the week weekly promo is um well let's we'll show them what this one is oh, and then okay. when, after we show them the picture then we'll talk about how it works all right so um the one that we picked and we emailed it to the twins and they said let's do it let's do it yep. is called um easter morning in the countryside yes and um we're going to insert a picture of this very springy design that's yes. just adorable right here here So, so, if you love Easter morning in the countryside as much as we do, and you would love to get a discounted copy, so because it is the pattern of the week, that means that it is 20% off through the partnerships that we have. Uh, the first one is with the twins, of course. Uh, you can get it directly from their Etsy shop or from their website, both of which are linked below. You can get a PDF copy that way. If you would rather have a hard copy of the chart, that's totally fine too. Um, however, if you want to also get it discounted, the only place to get it discounted is through Threads Entwined, right. which is an online needle workshop based in Northern California, and Trish, the owner, will take wonderful care of you right. um, and so we've also linked that below there's no need for any sort of a discount code or right. coupon code it is already discounted so you're good to, <coughs> good, good to go yeah 20 so, percent off from today to a week from today yes um pretty much sunday to saturday yeah, um, yeah. so uh, you want to do that and while you're there you want mm -hmm. to make sure that you check out their big, beautiful sampler, Springfield 1817. 
And the reason you want to look at that and you want to add to cart. Add to cart. Is because anybody who has purchased that chart from the twins in whatever mm -hmm. format is entered to win the big, big cash prize, which will be drawn uh, at the end, the of, the end of summer, at the end of August, mm -hmm. in lieu of uh, a ticket to go with us to Europe, which can't happen because of, hello, uh, pandemic. World, world pandemic. Yeah. Um, the cash prize is, wait for it, are you sitting down, put your drink down, one thousand dollars. So, uh, think of all the stitching. Big stuff. money, big money. Think of all the stitching stuff you can buy with a thousand bucks, baby. Yeah. I mean, but you don't so, have to spend on stitching stuff. If you yeah, want to, I mean, you know, you know, if you got to buy put groceries. Down, <laughs> if you want to put a down payment on a jacuzzi, go right ahead. <laughs> anyway, do what you will, but run over and get Springfield eighteen seventeen. Yeah, it do is it. not discounted. It's about twenty bucks, but you are taking a chance on winning. A thousand. Great. One K. Great. All right. So that means it's time for mail call. call. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. What is in that drawstring bag? Don't ask questions, man. <laughs> I can't remember. That's because it's something I purchased. Oh, okay. That's not in this thing. Okay. okay. Are you ready? All yeah. right. So. Pam, I think, was the person who originally got this correspondence, if you will, from Janet. Yes. Okay. So, Janet lives in Massachusetts, yes? Yes. She's a real good friend with our friends on Floss Tube, Yes. Chris and Jane. Yes. Boss Stitchers. Yes. And we've shouted them out, and they've shouted us out. It's a mutual admiration society. It is. It is. And so uh, Janet is good friends with them. Yes. And um, so you might have heard of the heard of Janet and her bag making skills, right? From Chris and Jane. From Chris and Jane, for right. sure. Right. Okay. So um, Janet makes bags, and they are. Um, or her company or whatever is called Studio Eighty Eight West. Right. So that is her business card. Studio Eighty Eight West. Right. Um, and it says we make bags. So perfect. Love that. Mm -hmm. Um, and she has an Etsy shop, Studio West Eighty Eight or wow, well, Studio Eighty Eight West. Sorry. Mm -hmm. And um, I will of course link her Etsy shop below. So you have that. Um, and then uh, she's also sent us this beautiful card that is blank inside. So um, she makes the cards herself. And so we can use this and pay it forward and send this Isn't on to somebody. Great. Yeah. Love that so mm -hmm. much. So they have the envelope for the card. I know. They fit. It does. Anywho. Anywho. Um, okay, so she makes a variety of different sizes of bags. And so she sent... Um, three different sizes of bags mm -hmm. starting with the small medium and large right. and um so we're going to show you those mm -hmm. so this is the smaller or smaller one mm -hmm. how cute that is a little really sloss on it the mm -hmm. and with the i like the heavy duty zipper and a lobster claw on the side right. so you could use this as like yeah keep um, your snag nabbit in it and your and your stitch seam fix, fix, seam and, your fix and all that scissors stuff. and all that right. so and then look at the cute llama fabric on mm -hmm. the inside love that yeah and I love the zipper. It's super heavy, heavy duty, which is nice. Mm -hmm. Or you could hook this onto an existing bag and have this be your floss. There you go. There's an idea. For a project. Okay. All right. And then the medium size bag, which is so dang cute. Yep. Look at the hippos. And then the scissor or the zipper pull with the teddy bear on it. Mm -hmm. And again, sturdy zipper. Love it. With a really pretty pink on the inside. It's so pretty. I love it. So cute. Mm -hmm. So cute. Right. Very sturdy. Very, very nice. Mm -hmm. And then this is the one that she sent for a Pam. Yeah. She, um, she's she? got quite a variety of different styles. This is a very nice big size of a vinyl front bag. And, fits in um, 11 by 11. Yeah. Fits in 11 by 11. 
And look at this thing. This is fantastic. <laughs> There's the Monopoly money in the middle. Look at that. On the inside, because you can see it through the vinyl. Yep. And then... Look at that. Monopoly on the other side. It's so good. Nicely... Um, Binded. Binded. Bound. Not sure. Um, there's a piece of facing fabric here and nice, 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 uh, heavy duty zipper. Mm -hmm. She's got a little star, uh, charm on it and, um, oops, I haven't got it open enough, but there's your money bags. Money bags. Money bags. Love this. You know me and game boards. So. Mm -hmm. um, it's great. It's fantastic. Thanks, Janet, for sending these out. Yes, thank you so and very much. We hope to um, send some customers over your way. Yes. And Steph will link it um, Absolutely. in the description box below. Absolutely. And if you haven't checked out Chris and Jane over at Boss Stitchers, please do. Oh, yeah. We love them. Yes. Okay. So that is all of the mail call. Yes. All right, well, it's time for haul. Okay, do you want to go first? I might as well. Okay, Pam. Well, if you're not watching Handwork Maniac, you need to be watching Handwork Maniac because Brenda is just so great. Um, she is great. We love her. We haven't seen her since the last StitchCon. And, um, well, she is in Utah, Pam. Yeah, she is in Utah. <laughs> but um, she is working on a piece that I've had my eye on for a really long time and sometimes if you have these things hanging in the wings it only takes somebody showing it on a floss tube and you're like okay gotta do it take my money gotta do it take my money and that's kingdom of books and if you are on Instagram you know lots of folks who are um, stitching this mm. the thing that kind of pushed me over the edge thanks Brenda mm -hmm. is that um, she described this as resembling um, the houses in in Holland, specifically oh, yeah. in the Netherlands. Yeah, Holland and the Netherlands are the same. I mean, Amsterdam. Amsterdam is what I meant to say. Got it. And also, she, I think, mentioned that um, she's been able to... Uh, replace the Russian book titles with American yeah, book titles, I think. It. And so, um, so cool. She and I are going to be talking. Yes. Uh, because um, it's a full kit. Because that's what I would be wondering is is if they're Russian books. I don't know. You know what I mean. That's why she and I have got to discuss this. Okay. Well, I'm glad to, I'm glad that you're going to know we'll that. Have, we're going to have a meeting of the minds. Okay. Um, but I, I bit the bullet and got kingdom of books. And where did you get it from? Um, was it, it yarn was, stories? No, it was Marish. Oh, Marish Kakam or yep. something like that. It's an Etsy store. Yeah. M I R E S K I C O N. I think. Okay. And I think it's either Russia it. or Ukraine. Ukraine. I feel I like think. it's Ukraine. I feel like it's Ukraine. But check out Brenda doing it because the way she showed it, it she's sold it for me. She's a beautiful stitcher, man. She's a beautiful stitcher anyway. Um, yeah. She's got a wonderful channel. And so um, I'm going to buttonhole her at StitchCon <laughs> and say, Sounds aggressive. Thanks a lot, you know, now. Yes. Let's just share some wisdom on this. Cool. So that's my only haul for this week. Um, cool. I tend to hold off <laughs> unless it's something that uh, my hand, my thumb is resting on the Etsy page on my phone, and I'm like, Stephanie, hold me back. I'm about to put the edge. Anyway, so and, that's it for my haul. Okay, so for my haul. Um, I did a little bit of Etsying as well. Um, I have um, Not Forgotten Farm has an Etsy shop. It's great. Um, yes. And she was running a sale. I believe it was 20% off. I don't know if the sale is still going on. Uh, but I snagged it up because 
It was a sale, so why not? Don't sale. Um, and so she has um, some things in there that were like club exclusives. And so this one I had liked for a long time and I didn't know if she was going to be reprinting them. And so I was yeah. like, well, might as well get it now. Yeah. Um, and so this is from the Little Stitches Handwork Club. I don't know where that is from or out of or anything. Um, but it was, came out in the spring winter spring of 2014 a long time ago yeah and yeah. so this is called the folk bird needle book cute and i just really like that mm -hmm. little bird mm -hmm. i don't know if i'll make it into a needle book but mm -hmm. i think he's cute regardless right yep and then um this one i had seen ffo'd on instagram and the photo that's on the cover of this is not the greatest um but I promise it is cute. And it's called Parson Brown. And it says, in the meadow we can build a snowman. Yeah, I've seen lots of people stitch and it. And it's really, really, really cute. Yeah, that's not the best photo. No, so. but I promise. Take my mm -hmm. word for it. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, um, <laughs> our sweet friend Marcy from Kansas, um, it, she stitched this. And I like watched her stitch it for yeah. all the events we were at with her yeah. when we could go to events. Um, and I was like, why don't we have that? I know because Cincinnati used to be known as Porkopolis, mm -hmm. but you didn't know that. Fun and fact. B because of their pork processing business that and they, history and here. history around pigs. Yeah. Right. And they have a, they have a marathon called the flying pig. pig marathon. Mm -hmm. Not that we're going to be running. In Absolutely it. not. Absolutely not. We're no. not even going to be walking in it. No, not but even watching it. We need to have this chart. Yes. Um, they you, they did this thing a long time ago when I was like in middle school, where they had different pigs all like they were oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. statues of pigs. It was called the Big Pig Gig, and it was all over the city. And there were statues of pigs that different businesses, companies, yep. whatever, yep. throughout Cincinnati purchased and then painted or whatever. And then you could go around and you got a map and you could check them off and find them all. And then for Christmas that year, Pam gave me a. A coffee table book that is the uh, all about the big pig gig, and I have pictures of me with pigs. Anyway, so anyway, it's a big pig thing here. Okay, <laughs> we love a good pig. All right, so this is from Not Forgotten Farm. It's called When Pigs Fly. Yeah, yeah, it has to be. So it has like to be I have stitched to and that. framed and hung in our house. Absolutely right. Yeah. So yeah, um, and then I also made this impulsive Etsy purchase. From oh yeah, now we're socks for mom yeah, um and she makes um thread keeps. I'm a big thread keep fan because on all my projects I always um put your threads on a ring. I do yes. So um this one. Let me sure I show all the parts of it. Okay, so that one. Well, that shows up good. Is like a pumpkin quilt situation. And then there is a little pumpkin charm on the back. Yep. Love that. Yep. And then this should be familiar because you would have seen it last week in Pam's yeah. whip section. Mm -hmm. This is berry bowl sampler. So I'm going to put this on my thing of threads so I know which threads are mine. Got it. Um, and then on the back is a little bird. Cute. There you go. Mm -hmm. And then this one. So she has them in different kind of metals. So those are both silver, obviously. Yeah. Then this one is the bronze colorway. I love the bronze, yeah. And this is, um, what is it called? Good Intentions. Oh, yeah. By Kathy Barrick. Yeah. Which I have as a whip. Yeah. Um, that I might restart. Yeah. Um, and then on the back is a little heart and hand cute. charm. Super cute. Mm -hmm. They came quickly. I love them. Mm -hmm. So check out Socks for Mom oh, yeah. on Etsy. She's, she's excellent. Yes, she very much is. Okay. That, is that it? That That's is all our haul? haul? Yep. Add to cart. Oh, we're Ooh. getting good, Ooh, Pam. We're good on that one. Yes, we are. Okay. We are. Okay. okay. So now let's do the giveaway. Yeah. Okay. So, um, last week, the giveaway items, 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 were from the wonderful Bee Stitch Me, um, and it was the silk 
um, March 2021 Silk of the Month Club that were all very silvery vibes, mm -hmm. along with a package of Be Stitch Me's thread drops. Right. Um, and so I will link um, Be Stitch Me's website below so you guys can um, purchase these packages of thread drops if you're interested right. um, and if you didn't win it. Um, and so, um, how we do giveaways on this channel is that we have you put a keyword into your comment and then we use the YouTube random comment picker to pick a winner and then I record myself as I pull that winner and then we share that with you all. Right. So we will enter the video of us picking a winner for this bundle Hello here. Friends. Welcome to this week's giveaway portion of the program and we are here to give away um, some lovely items from Be Stitch Me. These are the floss drops from Be Stitch Me. And also the Silk of the Month, March 2021, Five Shades of Grey Silk Pack. So pretty. And these two lovely ladies asked for you to please use the word moon in your comment in order to enter for the giveaway. So we will have one winner of both items. So I put in all the parameters, the YouTube URL, the word, all the things. So let's see how many comments we have. Two hundred and seventy unique comments. All right, so let's pick a winner. Already. Elissa Sater or Satter Sater. We have a bathroom in our house with frosted glass in the door, and when I'm in there, my son, who is five, likes to moon me through the glass. <laughs> I love that. That's amazing. Congratulations, Alyssa. You have won the silks and floss shops from Be Stitch Me. Um, if you would be so kind as to please send your mailing address to Pam, whose email address is listed in the description box below. Uh, as soon as we hear from you, we will get your items out to you. Congratulations to you, Alyssa, and congratulations to everyone for, I don't know what, but Thank you all so much for your comments. We love you all so very much. Sending you back to regular scheduled programming now. Bye. So, all right. Congratulations, yes. Alyssa. Yes. Alyssa Sater. Yes. I assume it's just like Alyssa Sater, right? Right. So, um, like I said in the video, um, just send Pam an email with your mailing address and yeah. we will get these shipped off to you. Absolutely. Okay. Um, we are, like I mentioned before, we are approaching our 200th episode. We are. And we are also approaching a subscriber milestone. Yep. And so um, we are not offering anything to give away this week. Not this week, no. Uh, but stay okay. tuned because that's a couple of pretty big dates. Mm -hmm. um, I think you said, you looked it up, that the 200th episode is going to be on Mother's, Mother's Day. Day. Um, and so we might, we might combine them for a really special giveaway. We haven't really talked that through yet. We'll work it out though. But we've we'll, got two weeks. We'll work it out. All yes. right. Yes. Um, we want to do something we haven't done in a really, really long time. Yeah. And that is give a couple of shout outs. Yes. Um, we appreciate you stopping by and spending a, a little bit of time with us each week. Uh, and we, we say that because we know that the floss tip community is growing by leaps and bounds mm -hmm. and there is a floss tip <clears throat> for everybody yes. whether it's a personality you like whether it's the stitching projects they're doing whether um you just like uh spending time with them like hopefully you do with us yeah so um uh hold on i just need to write something down before i forgot um <laughs> So, uh, another way that floss tubers more or less give back to the community is to give them a little extra exposure mm -hmm. by shouting them out. Yes. And there are a couple of floss tube channels that um, <clears throat> have been going for a while. Mm -hmm. um, and um, that we just want to talk about. That just we in just case want to talk them. about. Because 
we will never give someone a shout out that we don't truthfully really enjoy. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. So, because we appreciate your time and there are, I'm super busy. Pam has a lot of time to, cause she's retired and can watch foster all the time, which is great when I'm at work and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Um, but if, if I don't wholeheartedly love it, Right. Then we're not going to talk about it on our channel. So, yeah. we want to tell you who these people are so you can go check them out and hopefully love so them the first as much one as we do. So, the first one I want to talk about has a very personal connection to me. Yes. And that is because um, it is a duo mm -hmm. and um, they are based in Ohio, in the Toledo area. Yep. And that is one of my oldest, oldest friends. Yes. And her name is Mary Ann. Mm -hmm. And she has teamed up with a friend from their local guild named Fawn. Yes. And they have been doing floss tubes for about a year. And uh, their channel name is Sanctum Stitching. And their niche, if you will, is that Mary Ann um, is more or less my age. And Fawn is more or less Stephanie's age. Yeah. And their stitching styles reflect that. Yeah. And for sure. so um, we wanted to make sure that you heard about them. Mm -hmm. um, I've known Marianne both uh, professionally and Stitchy. and, and mm -hmm. as a personal friend. Yeah. And as a stitching buddy mm -hmm. uh, for oh, about. Man. Uh, 25 years. Yeah. Um, she has known my children mm -hmm. since they were very small. And um, I dare say 30 years because I'm 33. Yeah. So, yeah. So almost 30 years. Yeah. Pretty much. Mm -hmm. Um, also. Like uh, I have childhood memories with Marianne. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, um, Marianne and I were both law librarians. Mm -hmm for the federal courts um, at the same time Marianne yeah. retired before I did but uh, we knew all the same professional people that were in federal court libraries and we talk on the telephone about once a week mm -hmm. if not more frequently in yeah. fact I was on the phone with her the other day and um, uh, she is originally from Memphis. Mm -hmm. So if you tune into her, don't expect um, anything but right. um, a uh, southern, accent. southern accent. Absolutely. It's uh, she thinks she's lost it. She hasn't. <laughs> so um, anyway, check out Sanctum Stitching. Yes. Um, they're a great duo. Mm -hmm. They're doing it on Zoom right now still mm -hmm. and um, will for the foreseeable future because of COVID. But um, so go check out Sanctum Stitching. Yes. Fawn is um, keeping up with their Instagram page pretty well. Yeah. And um, so that's one channel we want you to check out. Yes. And then we also want you to please check out our sweet friend, Sarah. Yes. Uh, Sarah has a channel and her channel is called um, Memphis Sarah E, mm -hmm. which is just like her Instagram name. Um, and... I first knew of Sarah from, like, Instagram. She's super active on there. Um, and very, like, encouraging and very part of the cross-stitch Instagram community. Um, and then she um, is in Memphis. Yeah. There's uh, a Memphis connection. Right. And she um, has made purchases from Keepsakes before. Yeah. So I knew her from there. So, like... You know, whatever, whatever. And then she started a foster channel and she is a natural. Okay. Yeah. So oh, like yeah. Yeah. the, I mean, everyone's first video is awkward. Everyone, like mm -hmm. if, if your first video isn't awkward, then you're doing something wrong. Mm -hmm. So, um, so, but now, I mean, she's, she's come into it and it's just so good. Like yeah. so good. She's very so funny. She's very sweet personality. Yes. Very, like it's very conversational. Mm -hmm. I think, mm -hmm. um, like, I don't feel like I'm being talked at. I feel like I'm being talked to. Right. Um, and so I don't know. She's, she's wonderful and she's so very yeah. sweet and yeah. we think that you love her. Yeah. If you like our conversationalist right. vibe, then you will like Sarah, for sure. Sarah, for sure. Yeah. So go check out those two channels. We yes. wanted to make sure 
that um, we gave yeah. them a little bit of a mention. Absolutely. Okay, and then speaking of special mentions. Oh. They got a toy. Don't mind it. It's, you know, the Cat 500 around here. Um, we have um, added the Buy Me a Coffee platform to our description box, mm -hmm. and um, we have redefined it as a framing donation. Mm -hmm. uh, we are uh, taking our framing uh, mostly to the craft gallery in Finley, Ohio, yeah. and Paula has done an outstanding, outstanding job and just informed us that we have six more pieces waiting to be picked up. Can't wait. Can't so wait. Um, part of the reason that we are able to do that is because people have been very generous using the Buy Me a Framing Donation yes. um, option, and we have a list of these last um week's donators yes and we want to publicly thank them yes. this will be first names only and no amounts right but uh if we made you laugh today if we showed you something that uh got your stitching juices flowing flowing if we um showed you something that you had never seen before uh, we encourage you, or you to just, you know, enjoy the content that you see. Just enjoy the content. Um, that is uh, an option for you. Yeah. You don't get any special status. After I read this, we read these names, we'll throw this piece of paper in the trash. Um, so it's nothing that we keep records of. Mm -hmm. um, but we sincerely thank everybody from last week. Yeah. Uh, and we know the first name of this person mm -hmm. now, don't we? Mm hmm do we say it? I would say the first name of them. But I don't remember it. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. List being annotated. All right. This may become self-explanatory. Yeah. Uh, so we want to thank Sarah, Sandy, Janet, Judy, Soli, Kay, Tracy, and Cindy, Joanne, and three anonymous donations. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks to so all very of much. you. And um, hopefully so um, using these donations, we are able to get some things framed and show yes. them on our channel. Yes. Uh, we don't know when we're going to get a chance to run up to Finley. No. Uh, for the last six that we left there. Mm -hmm. Um, I told, um, Paula that, um, we would look at our calendars and let her know. Yeah. So, uh, sure. but there are six in the wings and we have some plans to take some more up. We sure do. So, um, Speaking of plans. Yeah. Speaking of plans. Ooh. So is next, is this our last video in April? Yes. Because Are you isn't, sure about that? isn't Saturday yeah, the first Saturday's of May? Yes, yeah. Saturday's the first. Okay. It's May, folks. So, it's Coming May, up. Up. which means that people on FlossTube and on Instagram and wherever you talk about cross-stitch with, um, a lot of people are starting to talk about what their Stitch Mania plans will be. Right. Um, if you have no idea what Stitch Mania is, um, please go back to last week's video where mm -hmm. we kind of explained Stitch Mania yeah. um, at the beginning of episode 197. Yeah. Um, and so... We just want to quickly talk about what our plans are going to be, um, and so that way next week... We will have started by next, next week's video. video. Correct, correct. So, what's your plan, Pam? My plan, um, in my brain, I needed to find some kind of stitching uh, project that ran alongside other things that I have going on. Yeah. On uh, Tuesday, Jesse Marie will pick the WIPCO numbers for... Uh, May, so I'll have those two projects. Mm -hmm. um, I'll also be continuing with my November cottage for I'll Be Home, and uh, we have obviously secret stitching that we've got to get done mm -hmm. for smalls exchanges that we have later in the year. Yeah. So I needed something that wasn't going to cancel out any of that, right? but needed to be done. So what I determined that my stitch mania will be will be going back to Mirabilia's Lady Justice, mm -hmm. which has all been cross-stitched, and work on the beads yep. for Lady Justice. And it might be a situation where I will 
work on them every morning in May or up until dinner time in May every day or after dinner every evening in May. Mm. I haven't thought about that. Obviously, beading takes, you know, fresh eyes. Yes. So, um... So you're basically having, like, a monogamania. I am having a monogamania. Yeah. And I will... And I'm having something that kind of gets back to the original concept of stitch mania, which was think outside the box. Yeah. You know, don't... Don't allow cool. yourself to be limited in, in what you're doing. Uh, kind of go crazy a little bit. So... Go crazy. Um, that is what my... Um, 2021 mania will be all about. Cool. Um, I am kind of in the same boat in that, um, well, we're not doing any new starts. Right. So there's that. Right. Um, and then I also have the things that I have that I want, I don't want to lose sight of basically, yeah. um, like Santa's village and your Hawker hollow and so on and so forth. But, um, when I organized all of my whips at the end of 2020, um, there were a good handful of them, not a ton, maybe eight out of the 72 whips I have, um, that I, the reason I'm not stitching on them or don't want to is because I don't like the fabric. Um, whether the fabric itself is just not good or the count is not good my thing anymore or what it is um and so i wanted to restart them so in order to kind of get around our whip it good rules which is a challenge within our whistle stop group yeah is that you're allowed to restart something if you want to however you cannot frog the old one before you restart the new one so which is fine with me i don't like frog anyway um, and so what I did was I looked at the calendar and the first is like Pam said on the, on Saturday. And so, uh, there are five Saturdays in May. So I looked at the list of things I wanted to restart and I picked five of them. And so every Saturday I will pick a new one up. Now I'm not saying that I'm going to work on it every single day for a whole week, but at least I'm going to get it restarted and get it good. And that's, you know, on a Saturday when I don't work and I can really, you know, focus on it for the weekend. So right. that way, if I get back to it on Monday or, you know, when I sit down to stitch on Monday night at like midnight after I've been working all day, then if it's not that, then it's fine. I already have two solid days in on it. So I just want to go through really quickly and show you what those projects will be. I will obviously go through them as through the month of May, um, as we make videos and all that, but, um, I'm not going to like show you the old one. I'm just going to go through and show you the charts that I'm going to start. Oh yeah, with. no need to show the old. I'll go through the details of all that come every week. Mm -hmm. So the first one I'm going to restart is Winter Rose Manor. Um, I started it on 36 count and it's just not doing it for me. Um, so just show the new one. Show them the new fabric? Just show them what you're doing. Don't You don't need to go all into I wasn't even going to open the bag. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Just yeah, that was, I was just going to talk about it for maybe a, a 30 seconds if that's okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you have somewhere to be? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. <laughs> I hate when you rush me. <laughs> okay. I wasn't trying to rush you. I was just. Mm. No, um, so, okay. Went to Rose Manor. So, it was on 36 count, and now I'm going to put it on 40 count. Did you want to show your fabric? No. You sure? Yes. <laughs> it, it, it's not a huge change, really. Okay. It's just going to be, I mean, okay. it's not that exciting. I don't want to rush you. Right? Yes. <laughs> Pam? Mm. Number two. Number two. Okay, if you've been around for a good long while... Then you will. Yeah. If you have, if you're new here, <laughs> you haven't seen this in a minute. Okay. Ooh, this is Poinsettia House by Little House Needle Works. I started this on 28 count Monaco. I shouldn't. I shouldn't. It was not my jail. It was awful. <laughs> it was real bad. So I'm gonna um, restart it. Um, this is 40 count. Yeah, 40 count. 
So, yeah. Because it's, it's literally sat in this super adorable. Yeah. So much love bag. This yeah. was the first December bag we ever got. Yeah. Um, so. Yep. That will get restarted. Mm -hmm. Then this one is. Yeah, I can't see it. Ow. I just got a paper cut. It's okay. I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. Uh, pretty little Amsterdam from Satsuma Street. Um, it was a super tight 32 that yeah. I got. And one thread was not enough. And two threads was super bulky. And I hated it. Yeah. So I'm going to restart it on 40 count. With one thread. Yeah. Yeah. And. Okay. Then. This one is also an older one. This one I started in the fall two years ago. And this is. Judge Not by Plum Street Samplers. Um, I started it on 32 count. Um, it was nice enough. I'm just not drawn to it because it's not a higher count fabric. Um, and so I'm going to restart it on 40 count. That is honestly a better fabric for it. Oh, yeah. For really. Sure. For sure. Um, yeah. So I'm going to do that. And then last but not least. So this was actually a Mania start in 2019. Um, and I have tried every freaking fabric for this project. My, oh, my good night. So this, where's the picture of it? This is Jolly Happy Soul by With I Needle and Thread. I absolutely love this. Absolutely love this. I have tried it, people. There were two other tries before this. I've tried it on this purple, which I hated. Tried it on that, which I hated. Tried it on that, which I hated. And it was just like, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. So I put it in timeout for a good long while. Well, show, since you had such, you've had such a challenge with that, show the fabric that you're ending up yes, restarting I will. on that one. So the problem. Take all the time you need. Okay, I will. Don't you worry, Pam. I don't know what you're doing or saying, but. Um, okay, so here's the thing. Where's the dang picture? There it is. Okay, I love this picture, mm -hmm. but here's the problem, right. is that this is super unachievable. Yeah. You can't have a fabric that's this color that also shows the white. It just doesn't work. And so I've been trying my whole life, it feels like, to find <laughs> fabric that is like this. Right. So... The fabric that I ended up with, and everybody loved the purple when I was just like, mm -mm, I hate it. I, I kind of liked it. I might finish it yeah. for me. <laughs> so, when we have separate Christmases. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm going to actually stitch it on 40 count pair yep. from Lakeside Linens. Yep. And it's going to be perfect. It's mm -hmm. The white's going to show, and it's very similar to the photo. Right. So, with one thread over two. Right. So, and if, if this doesn't work, I don't know what the <laughs> hell I'm going to do. I don't know. Ooh, so, Lordy. that is that. That's your yes. stitch mania. And so, how I'm going to decide what I work on is I'm going to have a wheel, and then every Saturday morning... I'm going to spin my wheel. Right. And that's how that is going to go. Okay. So. Well, good. Yep. Yep. All right. Well, that's about it for us this week. Yep. Um, and uh, we've got a pot roast in the crock pot. Yeah. And, um, it's that's been insane. smelling delicious here all, all day. day. Yes. All afternoon, at least. Um, so um, we're going to wrap it up. Yep. We hope you have a great week. Um, we hope that uh, you've enjoyed your time here. Mm -hmm. And um, we've enjoyed having you. Yeah, we enjoyed having you. Absolutely. So, um, hope that you uh, get a lot of stitches in next week. If you're doing any kind of mania, we hope that you're enjoying all the planning that goes into that. And uh, we're going to see you in a week or so. Yes. Um, in the meantime... Um, Enjoy the change of seasons, mm -hmm. and um, we'll be back next week. Yes, we will. In the meantime, I'm Pam. And I'm Steph. And this is Just, just Keep, keep stitching. stitching. 
Bye. Bye.